My dad always told me if you can't be a good hunter where you live, you've got no business going off somewhere else to hunt. In all my travels to wild places chasing bears, my favorite hunt and the most challenging hunt for me is getting it done in the eastern deciduous forest in Arkansas on public land, spot and stalk without the use of bait or hounds while using the traditional bow. I've been calling it the sheep hunt of the south. In 2016, I had a phenomenal year when I harvested two bears in the National Forest in Arkansas and Oklahoma. However, in 2017 and 18, I never even saw a bear. You can't be validated by seeing game on this type of hunt. You might go long periods of time without seeing your quarry. Your only validation in the lean times is the satisfaction that comes from a hard day's hunt in rough country and honorably pursuing a long-term game plan for acquiring the wild meat, hide, and claw of a majestic beast. This is my first time on the mountain during hunting season. Holy smoke. A bear has been wearing out that tree. That's a black gum. Holy smokes. Look here. That scat is full of muscadines and black gum. I'm gonna go to the top of the mountain though. I'm not kidding. I'm hardly away from the truck. And I found two piles of bear scat where a bear wore out a black gum and a yellow jacket nest that has just been dug out. I mean, I bet it was dug out this morning. Muscadine. Okay, the way to eat a muscadine, put it in your mouth, pop the hole, pop the middle out, chew the hole. Go ahead and chew it and eat it. It's kind of, it's a little leathery. Chew it and eat it. And then squeeze about five seeds out, spit them, and then you've got the, kind of like the pouch that's the meat of the muscadine. More balloon releasers. The closer I got to the top, the more acorns I found. And holy cow, this is going to be money. This little spot is usually nothing more than just a mud hole, but there has been a bear here every day for the last 30 days. I put up a camera on September 3rd, it's October 3rd. There's also been a pack of wild dogs and only two deer, two deer. It's about two o'clock right now. I'm gonna go ahead and sit in this flat. I've got my saddle, but I'm afraid to tie myself down to one spot. I wanna be able to see this whole bottom. The wind's blowing out of the north. I can kinda of look down and see this bottom down here. So hopefully I'll see a bear. I wasn't sitting on the mud hole, but about 40 yards from it to gain advantage of the wind direction. Bears in these types of settings are easy to stalk, especially when feeding, and I knew I could get close. Heck, there wasn't even water in this mud hole. However, there had been a bear there an hour before I got there. There were acorns everywhere, and the bears were just using the area as evidenced by the scat. I'd been there for about two hours when I heard leaves crunching directly behind me. I turned around to see a bear about 40 yards away. It had been two years since I'd seen a bear in National Forest. He ended up catching my wind, but just began to slowly move away, but not before I released an arrow when he was 13 yards away. Oh 
Holy cow. Public land in Arkansas. I've been here two hours. Holy cow. I'd rather kill that bear than a Kodiak brown bear. Look at that. Holy cow. Look at that. Holy cow. Total pass through. Beautiful bear. Man, taking one like this is, there's nothing, there's nothing better for me. This is the way that I want to do it, and the job is done. It's 4.45, gets dark at 7.45, and I've got, uh, got him skinned out. I've sent for reinforcements. Now I'm gonna meet Colby with Izzy down at the bottom of the mountain, so we're gonna hike out of here and then hike back in. Well, Colby delivered Izzy to me, and uh, I'm gonna try to get back up on the mountain before dark. We got about 45 minutes before dark, but we'll, be, we'll get up to this bear. We'll be coming out of here in the dark, but we'll be good. Izzy, my mule, carried out her first bear hide two days before, but got snorty when I brought the hide over. I took my shirt off and tried to cover her eyes, but my blindfold failed. Eventually, with a little hide. drama, she let me put the hide on her. That right there could have gone wrong in a hurry, but it was a long time coming. She carried a bear out two days ago, but it's always something new. This hunt is at the top of the charts for me, and I'm forever grateful for a thriving bear population, science-based wildlife management practices that use hunting as a tool, and access to hunt our wild American public lands. Check out episode 53 of the Bear Hunting Magazine podcast for more details, gear, and tactics used on this hunt. Keep the wild places wild, because that's where the bears live. We're making it just fine. She, does, she once we once we got that hide on her, she's been fine all the way down the mountain. <laughs>